this area right here on the real estate maps is called Eden. So our, our, our homes that went right in right next door, it's called Eden Grove. Because this whole area on the real estate maps is called Eden. So here you have a garden in the sense that nobody can build on that green belt. So here you have a garden called Eden. And in Eden, the Lord established a church called Seattle Revival Center. Yep. And what was Eden? It was a place of convergence. It was a place where God would come down and fellowship with man. Yep. And then what did the Lord, what was the Edenic mandate given to Adam and Eve? He said, it's time to get to work. It's time to begin to work the ground. It's time to begin to expand what? To expand Shalom. To take this beautiful garden and begin to work it out and begin to apply it and to take this beauty and this glory and this place of convergence and to massage it until the whole earth is a garden. And I think that this is what the Lord is doing. Is he's taken us back to, to Mount Sinai where we went last week, which is a portal back to Eden, this place of convergence. But this is where the Lord has taken us. He's giving us a reminder that Seattle Revival Center is not called to be like other churches in our city. Awesome churches, by the way. We have so many incredible churches in our, in our, in our city, in the Seattle area. We are, we are called to be a very unique people. We are called to be gardeners. And that means that we need to see the earth as our garden, and that we need to realize that Seattle's not exactly Bouchard Gardens right now.